Hey guys, it's Jen here from Nails by Jen. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a nail studio tour slash desk tour. So if this is something you're interested in, stick around, keep watching. As always, don't forget to click that like and subscribe for me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and let's get started. Alright guys, so as mentioned in the intro, this is going to be a nail studio slash nail desk tour. I really don't think I have done one of these since I started YouTube, so it would have been like over a year ago that I actually did like a whole studio and desk tour, so it's going to be a bit of a longer video. I don't think that I've really changed much in regards to the setup of my studio, but I know that things have changed in regards to what is in my desk and how I have my drawers organized, so like I said, this is going to be a long video. So let's get started. All right, guys. So let's start off with one of the items that I get asked about quite a bit when you guys see it in my videos is this little sofa. So I actually got it at um, Winner's Home Sense. I get asked quite often where I purchased it from. So I got it like five years ago. So I apologize, you guys. I cannot give you a link or tell you where to get it but I absolutely love it. When I saw it, I had to have it because it matches absolutely perfectly. It is the perfect shade of like a gray, light, tealy mint color. So I had to absolutely have it. And then I also have some curtain lighting and I don't always have it on. I have a little remote that I can turn it on with. It's just a little remote like this. I actually originally purchased these for my living room curtains because I have the curtain lighting in my windows there. But if you guys look, these ones were way too long. I think I purchased like eight foot ones for some reason on accident, or I don't know if they just sent them. I think I got them honestly off of eBay. Um, but I'm sure you could find them on Amazon. So I don't turn them on all the time. I kind of forget quite often, but they are a really, really nice, cute touch. And they have all different settings that you can press um, to have them just on or flickering or whatever. So I will just shut those off real quickly. And the pillows I got, I believe, at um, Gordman's in Minot, North Dakota, the blanket. I got at some store in Pittsburgh. I buy a lot of stuff when I travel, so... I can't always give you the exact places that I got things, but I can try. And then underneath, I have a bin here, and I did get this bin at Walmart, and as you can see, it matches perfectly. Unfortunately, when I was there, they only had one, and I have been keeping my eye out for another one because I really need a second one. And I just keep my background props um, in there. As you can see, there's some little Valentine's Day signs. And then on this wall here, I have some nail polish racks and I also have two more racks over there. Um, so this one just houses some gel polishes and stuff that I don't use on a regular basis. And this is all nail polish and then like some stamping polishes. Um, the nail polish is because I used to do toe parties or like my girlfriends will bring their daughters um, or their sons and they want their nails painted. So I just do that for them. And then I also have this cute little frame here, this little pegboard, and I got this at the Dollarama. They had larger ones as well. Um, and I just keep cards from clients um, or people that I know that are, you know, selling item or ha items or have businesses. And over here is my little Quincy guy. So this was my little doggy. I did have to put him down a few years ago. That was actually him sitting up at my nail desk downstairs in my old studio. And um, he used to put his hands up here and I would like grab a nail file and like file his nails. He was honestly the best little dog. I miss him so, so, so much. And this little end table is from Yisk. And then these are just all a bunch of nail goodies that I have to still do review videos on. And my little display containers down there. I have those in a video. Then I have a couple of frames here that just have magazines that I was in, the nail magazine. So these ones here were mine and these ones here were mine. And I also have another frame on the floor you can see down there with another set that I did, which that frame is meant to go down here but I had such a hard time hanging these ones that I gave up honestly and just did not hang that one. <laughs> because as you see in my room, I have peak ceilings. So I lost a lot of wall space when I came upstairs. 
Um, I don't regret it, but I just had to like figure out a way to hang things on the wall. And also, let me just show you my chandelier light. I got these at Costco and I love them. Oftentimes I have people come in and ask me how I painted my ceiling because they think that the reflection is actually um, painted, but it's just from the crystals in the light. So bonus there. And then I just have some certificates here, my school certificate when I, where I went to Marvell Beauty School and just some extra training that I had. And then we move into my little office area. So I have this pad and my keyboard in a um, top five favorites. I don't remember which month, but I will link it below for you guys, or you can just check out all my top five favorites. And I also have this, this is new to me. So when I book my clients, um, I actually book my full-time clients for them. They don't have to worry about booking. And so these are just their cards with their names and basically their preferred days and times. And this little set I got off of what we call here Virage Sale or Virage Sale, however you say it. And it is a virtual garage sale, basically. Um, so I don't know where that would come from. And actually, this chair cover I bought off of... I believe it was eBay. Um, they were like $6 and I bought a ton of them. This was actually my original chair that my client sat on, but due to COVID and everything like that, I needed to get a plastic chair so that I could clean it better. Um, yeah, so I just ended up getting, I bought this chair again off of Raj sale for like $20. I just bought a $6 chair cover and it matched perfectly. So I have extra of those. And the desk is an Ikea desk, so these are the Alex drawers. And this is a Linman tabletop. It's obviously a very, it's shorter than I would have liked it to be, um, but it still works out just fine. And then that as well is from Ikea. I originally bought that to be a hand rest for my clients and to put onto my desk, but I did not like it. I seen some other nail techs doing it and I thought, oh my gosh, maybe that's like the best thing ever. And for me, it did not work. So I just use it on my desk now. And there's a couple more of those little peg boards. And so then over here we have just another cubby from Ikea. I don't remember what it's called, but I will try to find everything for you guys, um, or at least the names of them I will put on the screen here. And I have a TV. I highly, highly recommend you guys having a TV. I know that a lot of people may disagree and think that it makes the appointments way less personal, but I will tell you right now that there have been times where either my clients don't feel like talking or maybe I am all talked out as well and it is so much easier to just have a TV with a show that they can just put on and relax. I actually had a client last night ask me if um, she's like do you ever have clients fall asleep and I'm like yeah I do. I actually have clients who nod off and she's like oh my gosh I'm just so tired. I feel so exhausted and she's like I think it's just because it's so relaxing and calm in here. A lot of my clients have children or they are teachers or they're just you know, in a busy office and they're just around so much like loud noise and talking all the time that it's kind of nice for them to come in here and I have a movie that's on just quietly in the background and they can just chill and relax. So I highly recommend having a TV. You can put music on, movies, whatever. So yes, back to this little cubby. So I have these boxes. They are also from Ikea and they just have several different things. I have them labeled. I have tons of different stuff in there. Vacuum bags, dust brushes, masks, wipes, um, all kinds of things. And one of my old clients got me this sign and it was different colors and I just painted it to match the nail room because I like to be matchy matchy. And I think I got this little sign also at um, Gordman's and it hides the doorknob to this little door because as you can see, I have a little cubby door in here and it goes all the way along this way and all the way along into my bedroom, all the way to the other house or other side of the house. So yes, and then this is just my current prices and policies, which I will be changing this January. As you can see, I have not updated my prices since 2018 and prior to that, it was 2012. So <laughs> it's time to give sis a raise, I'm telling you that much. So next year I will be raising my prices and I will go into this little doorway here as well because this is not only a closet for clothing and I do normally have um, these little lights that have a little remote 
right here, but the batteries are dead and I just have not replaced them. So this houses my clothing, some of my clothing and a ton of shoes and shoes and shoes and shoes and more shoes in there. And as you can see, I have a ring light. Um, I have a little fan and my broom and my little dust picker upper thingamajiggy that I got off of eBay, which I love. And I just have some extra stuff up here. I don't want to show anybody this because that stuff is going to be for Sharin. Sharin and I have a collaboration coming up and it is a surprise. So I don't want to show anything in there. <laughs> and most importantly, it houses my um, Hudson cart from Michael's. So I'm going to pull this out and show you how I have this organized as well and what is all in here. Right, so in the top, as you can see, I have a ton of just floral decorations. You guys know in my videos, I always like to put some flowers in the background. So they're just kind of plopped in here. Originally, I had a ton of these vases um, just all placed in here. And then I had the flowers sitting in top um, like this, but they were just a little too high for the area in the closet where this Hudson cart fits and a lot of them were getting sort of wrecked. So I just find it easier to kind of push them down this way. And I do probably need to kind of get in here and reorganize it a little bit because it's looking a little messy. And then as you saw, I have two of those little vases down here and then I have these which are from the Dollar um, Dollarama. And these are actually, um, they're containers, what do you call them, canisters. And they have a lid on them that look like a piece of wood. Um, so they're like for kitchen or something. As you can see, I didn't even take the price tag off. They're 350 dollars at the Dollarama, but I use these for vases. And these here, I have three of them, as you can see. So this one's actually currently empty. Um, I just actually ended up taking all of them and shoving them in these two to make it easier for me. So these are where I hold my client files. I will show you in a little bit here how I have my clients um, hand files all stored during the week so that I can access them easily. But this is where I house all of them. So they're just alphabetized. I just created some little like file folder um, alphabetized separators here and I have all of their envelopes in here. These are just shoe boxes from Michael's actually from years ago. And then I have a few of these boxes. I have three of them. And these are actually from Ikea as well. Um, one of them has just like little jars that are empty jars that I use for like mixing glitters or anything like that. They're in one of them. And then I have gift certificates and um, some other like, I guess I would say like office type of stuff is in another one. I'm just not gonna pull them out and show you everything that's in them. Um, well, maybe I will show you one of them because they do have separators in them. Let me just open this one and see what's in here. So they have little dividers. And what I've done is, as you can see, like this is my gift certificates. So I just bent part of the dividers back. I don't know if you can see it here, um, but I just bent this divider back and otherwise they have just little compartments. So yeah, in the bottom one, I think has just leftover um, extra glitters and things like that to refill my regular glitter pots. And then down here, I have extra containers like this. From Michaels I have several of them because I am going to be doing a glitter video where I have to organize my glitter I swear I've been saying that for a year and I keep putting it off <laughs> because I know it's going to take me forever and I just don't have the ambition to do it right now but these ones are actually um, leg warmers so um, I know Talia talks about it also she uses leg warmers and she has these little lace thingamabobs that go over her fake hands um, I actually used to use these because I would take clients photos for my personal page and if they didn't have a sweater that looked nice on or anything like that, I would just use the leg warmers. I actually have a video on my, in my highlights, tips and tricks, um, showing you guys how I use them. I don't really use them anymore, but I still have them just in case. And then just a couple more boxes, like I said, that are like this one that have glitter and all kinds of other stuff. So that is it for my Hudson cart and it fits perfectly in my nails, um, in my closet. Okay, so in regards to um, the client's files, so I just, like I said, keep them all in envelopes. So at the beginning of every week, I take out all of my clients that are coming that week and I just have them in these containers here. They fit absolutely perfectly. As you can see, they're from the Dollarama. They're $2. 
So this is for my Tuesday and Wednesday clients. And then I have my Thursday and Friday clients and it just makes it easy to access. Um, when the client comes in, I pull their file, which is already in order of how they're coming in that week. And then I just have to pull out their implement box and we are ready to go. All right guys, so let's finally talk about the actual desk and what I'm using. So I am using Ikea stuff. Again, this is an Alex drawer, this is an Alex drawer, and this is a Linman tabletop. I believe it's the longest one you can get. I think it's six feet perhaps. Um, I can't remember, but it's pretty long. And the tufting that is on the front is custom tufting. I get asked quite a bit about that as well. Um, so all I did was I took, I think it's called pegboard. I will insert a photo of what it is here because I don't know if that's what it's called. And my dad and my uncle um, helped me to put them together because they also built this part here. This is actually a cupboard that they built to fit and match. Um, and so I just got some fabric. I had some buttons made that are for tufting with the fabric. Now, the one thing I will say, if you look close and not even, you don't even have to look close, you can see how dirty it is. Now I have tried everything bleach. Um, I forget what that one product is called. It's supposed to like take off everything. I've tried that. It does not work. So I am going to recommend if you are going to do any type of tufting. And I did think about this when I was originally making them, but I just really thought that I could keep them clean with bleach and all that kind of stuff. Um, I would highly recommend using some type of a leather or faux leather, something that you can clean easily because it looks dirty and I really don't like it. So how I actually stuck them on was just with Velcro. So I could actually remove them. Um, I haven't done so yet. I'm debating on whether or not I wanna just remove them and have that tufting completely off or remake the tufting. I'm not sure yet, but so for now, they just stay there. My uncle and my dad built me this cupboard here. So it opens up like this. And this is my shop vac. And as you can see, it's just pushed in the back here and it comes, the hose comes here. They drilled a hole in the side and then it comes out and then it actually comes up onto my desk here. And I just have a vacuum hose holder that I stick it in right there. So I have some other things in here, just more storage and things that I'm not using old desk lamps. Um, this, <laughs> This is actually quite funny, you guys. So this is how I originally started filming my YouTube video videos. This is all I used. It is a jar filled with some gross grain that I bought and never ate and a selfie stick. And that is how I held my phone when I first started doing any type of filming. So let me tell you guys, if you don't have anything at home and you wanna start filming something, if you have something like this, you can make a few videos. Obviously you wanna upgrade at some point, but that's how I started. Now I also will say that I have not been using my vacuum because I recently got the Melody Susie um, dust collector and I am obsessed with it. I did a review video on it, um, just an unboxing and kind of first impressions. And let me just tell you guys, I am thoroughly impressed. I have not been using my vacuum. Um, the only thing I've been using my vacuum for is when I pull out the filter and I dust it off and all that stuff, if there's any excess little dust, I just use my vacuum to kind of clean it and make sure that it's staying extra clean because I love this thing, you guys. And my desk is, or sorry, my chair is from, yes, it's just a regular little chair. Um, I needed something plastic, as I mentioned earlier, so that I could clean it properly. My last Maps are from Amazon. I have had these for a long time. I really, really like them. My e-file is from Melody Susie as well. It is the Scarlet e-file. 100% recommend this e-file. I've been using it now for quite some time. Love, love, love it. And this is just a little, actually what it's for is for rhinestones. That's what I originally, when I purchased it, that's what it said it was for. But I just have it on the desk here for clients to put their rings in if they have any you know, rings that they wanna take off or bracelets or anything like that. They just put them in here. And then I have some Moody Mare lotion because you guys know I really like that stuff. And here I just have a little phone um, holder. It's actually meant to go in a car um, into the cup holder. 
but I got it years and years ago. I cannot tell you where. And it's just set out here for clients who need to have their phone. I have clients who have small children or they're working or, you know, they just need to have their phones with them. I'm fine with my clients having their phones out. I just wipe them with um, Lysol wipes to make sure that they're clean. Um, and then, yeah, it just sits in here and that way if... Um, they get a notification or something like that they can easily look at it without having to touch it unless they absolutely have to answer it so I love this little thing having it here on the side you guys know my seven tiered rack I talk about this thing all the time if you want more details check out my I think it's called the nail tech must-have item um, video I will also you know either link it below or put a little screenshot picture of it here um, absolutely absolutely you need to have something like this on your desk it does not have to be this big if you don't have as much um, nail art to display but definitely definitely something I recommend and then like I said I have a couple of more um, nail polish racks over here on the side and I just have some swatch sticks hanging here. I also have my newest swatch sticks um, or maybe seasonal swatch sticks on the side of this container here, this tray. And I have all my Madame Glam and then obviously just some other various um, gel polishes or gel paints. I've been using the Madame Glam gel paints recently and I really, really, really like those. And let's go to the back side of the desk. Oh, my lights. I need to show you guys my lights. So this one um, was recommended by... I, th I don't think her name is Nails by Jen, but her name is Jen and it has a little magnifier. I never use the magnifier, honestly. I just forget to use it all the time. Um, but I have that one on this side and then I have this little one here and they're both from Amazon. I believe I did a haul video on them as well. Um, I use both of them because I find one of them is just not enough light for me. I do have another light that Ginger, I think, had maybe recommended. I can't remember. It's somewhere, but I haven't used it yet because basically I'm gonna use these until they conk out and that's when I'll pull out the new one. And I have one last item to tell you guys about that I have on top of my desk here, and that is my little brush holder. I think they called it a pen holder. I bought them on, I believe, Amazon, and it came in a two-pack with clear and black. I gave the black one away, but I absolutely love this brush holder. And as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, I actually have it stuck to my desk with sticky tack. I have mentioned this in other videos as well, that if you have items that you do not want to move, whether it's on top of your desk or inside your desk, I highly recommend using sticky tack to hold them down. This thing does not move around and yeah, it's perfect. It holds my brushes so nicely, um, even nail art brushes, anything like that. I love it, it is not in the way and I like it much better than the ones that are flat. I used to have like the little pink one with the slots and they just used to lay flat. And a lot of times when I would try to grab the brushes, it's almost like they were too close together or something. It just kind of was irritating and it would slide off my desk um, because I didn't have it tacked down. So yeah, highly recommend if you're looking for a brush holder. And this is just a little dap and dish that I have there as well. And moving to the left side on top of my desk, I have some paper towel just on a dollar store paper towel rack. Again, it has been tacked down. This is my vacuum button so I can turn my vacuum on just like so and turn it off. And this is just another little three-tiered rack. So in here I keep my primer, my cuticle oil, I have some resin for nail for rhinestones. Um, this is a duster brush that I got. This was actually like purchased probably 13 years ago when I first started doing nails. I think it's honestly just a shaving cream brush. Um, but this is what I use to dust off sugar nails because it's a lot harder than my soft, soft brushes that I use to dust off my clients' um, nail dust. But it's not super hard that it's gonna like take off too much if that makes sense so I love this for when I do sugar nails just removing the excess um, glitter I have ugly duckling prep and primer because I've been trying out their acrylic line um, and I will obviously do a video on that at some point as well and then I just have my two main stamping polishes and right now I still have these old Conad ones that I'm using and I generally use black and white so I just have my black and white here all right, and then this guy, again, I highly recommend. Now, I have not tacked this down because it is quite heavy, so I did not have to tack it down. But this houses all of my brushes and implements and things that I use. I do try to reorganize it every week um, because things just get kind of put back, not in the most perfect place. And I will say that 
I like the beads, but I really ideally want to create something that I can put in here that has little individual slots because the beads are good, but things still tend to kind of fall over. They don't always sit in the most perfect position. Sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, where is that one brush? So I really want to create something like, I don't know if I can get my dad to maybe get a block of wood and just drill a bunch of holes so that I can put them in and everything will sit exactly where I want. So if anyone knows of anything that fits in here, that is what I'm ex I'm describing, please let me know in the comment section because that is what I really think would make this thing the most perfect, perfect um, nail brush um, holder. So yes, in both sides I have some nail brushes. I just, like I said, have to organize them a little bit better. I try to keep my little nail art brushes in the front here. I usually have them lined up in the front and whatnot, but I haven't done that yet. So that is that. And make sure that you shove everything down far enough so that they're not getting bent or broken. And then it has a couple of little drawers. So this one, I just have little scissors. I have an old rhinestone tool, which you can see is so small, but I have not parted with it yet and uh what is that oh that's just a little scooper thing these are my wipes they fit perfectly in this drawer and then down here i just have some pinchers and some old primer that i've never used honestly i don't even know why i have it in there but it's been in there and it's staying in there and i have a lazy susan for all of my liquids and my canned air my lysol my um hand sanitizer I have here so I've talked about these bottles in the past I highly recommend them for all of your liquids um, this is just my prep solution what is it called uh, swipe from young nails I have acetone and then alcohol Lysol canned air no I do not huff canned air I use this to clean the dust off of everything on a side note whenever I go to the dollar store and I buy like six of these they always look at me funny and I think they think I'm going to get high but I'm really not <laughs> so it's unfortunate um, and then I just have this sign which I absolutely love and it's just kind of a nice little reminder for my clients to look at while they're here and I have some rubber gloves these are some heavy duty Dollarama rubber gloves and my Cavicide or my Cavi wipes that I use to sanitize everything. So that is it. I also have this random bowl that sits perfectly behind my um, seven tiered rack here. And this is just kind of my put away bowl. If I don't have time to put things away, I just throw everything in there. And then at the end of the day, I will put everything away. And one last thing before I get into the drawers, I just have this um, scrapbook paper container from Michael's that I have some scrap scrapbook paper in. So this is what I use when I'm taking pictures of clients' nails. I always actually use the same one. I have several in here, but generally I just use that marble one. But it's easy to just pull that out and then, you know, use the paper, put it back. I unfortunately don't have like a perfect space for it, um, but that's just where it sits basically on the floor. And also on a side note, the reason you see this like weird cord hanging here is because I have all of my cords under my desk here um, some of I have over on this side as well and unfortunately there's just not enough room on this power bar to plug in my new dust collector from Melody Susie so for now I just have it plugged in here but I um, I do have another cord that I ordered off as off of Amazon I just have to basically take everything apart and put the new um, power bar in here so I can have this cord not running across here because it's been very inconvenient I'm gonna actually unplug it right now so I didn't get it out of the way but I just wanted to mention that um, you absolutely can plug stuff in under your desk. So I just have the cord running here, as you can see. And then I have this um, cord hider thingy majiggy here. And then what actually happens is it goes into the cupboard that my dad and my uncle built and it's plugged in back there. But I'm sure anybody who, you know, you can just MacGyver up your desk the way that you need to so that your cords aren't all over the place. Oh, and this. You guys, I have to mention this because I have mentioned it in another video and my clients absolutely love it. It is actually a large heating pad and I just have it plugged in and I just, well, it's not going to turn on because I don't have my power on right now, but um, if I turn on my power, I can just turn this on and if your client's feet are cold, which lots of times client's feet are cold, especially in the winter, 
It's perfect for that. They absolutely love it. I'm telling you, if you do this for your clients, they will think you are the best thing since sliced bread. So get yourself just a little heating pad, stick it on your floor. Even in the summer, honestly, when I have my air conditioner on in here, sometimes my clients are really, they feel cold, but I don't want to turn the air down because it gets too hot. Um, so I just turn this on and it helps them to stay a little bit more cozy. All right guys, so I'm going to start off um, with the large Alex drawer that I use. So in the top drawer, I have all of my main acrylics. I'm still currently using the Young Nails Coraline. So these ones over here are actually custom mixes that I have made. I think I did a little reel on Instagram or TikTok video. So these are the ones that I made here. I have a milky white, a sparkle blush, semi blush pink, um, which is semi transparent, intense shimmer pink and semi baby pink. So that's what I, um, those are the main ones that I use in my nail studio. And then I have the speed pink, speed clear. And I tried to buy quite a few of the Young Nails core colors um, because I just wanted to try them all. Um, but again, I love hearing in the comment section what acrylic systems you guys are using. Like I mentioned earlier, I am testing out the Ugly Duckling line right now. And so far, I really, really like it. So we will see what happens in the future. So I have some containers that are towards the back here. Um, these containers are just from the Dollarama. And these ones are from Amazon. I love these containers, you guys. I have mentioned them in so many of my videos. Um, they are a little bit more pricey on Amazon, but what I love about them is that they have these dividers so you can basically divide them however you want. So in this one, I just have a couple of extra containers. Here I have my little um, display thingies that I use for doing nail art. These are my little sticky dots that I've been using to stick on my tips onto here. And then these are just a couple of other little custom mix acrylics that I have made just specifically for a couple of clients. It's kind of like their custom color. So I have that. And then this one, I have all of these rings for um, swatch sticks. They just seem to fit perfectly in here. I see one has kind of flowed over that way. And then these are just tips that I've been using I bought them years ago and these are tips that I've been using for practicing nail art or doing tutorials for you guys I'm actually running low on them I have a random one sitting here I need to search for them but I've had them forever so I have to see if I can find them um, and that's all that's in this one and then as you can see over here I have two more of those exact same containers the larger ones and they just have my hand files and they fit perfectly in them and I believe I have something in the back here as well in another one of these. Yes, I do. So I have some silk and a button that my girlfriend gave me. <laughs> my girlfriend bought that for me when I had my accident and was off of work. And then I just actually have a jar I see of some IBD, looks like an IBD builder gel. I don't know, I just have this, I guess, just in case I need it. I really don't use builder gel, but just in case something comes out on the market, a new nail art idea or a new nail art design and I need to have a builder gel, I've got that in the back. So that's what's in the top drawer. And moving on to the second drawer is the fun stuff. So I have just some of those Ugly Duckling um, acrylics. I just have them here because I did not have any room up here to put them. So I have just, I bought a little sample kit. I have those little ones here. And then I also purchased a larger um, clear one because I knew I wanted to try the clear out um, most and so I bought a bigger one of those so I have that here and over here so my intention with this space here I know it seems like wasted space is that if I needed to get more of these that those would fit perfectly here so speaking of those containers um, these are absolutely my most favorite embellishment containers currently because they are so small and they really for me they're definitely large enough these little um, compartments inside are large enough um, they open like this and then each individual container opens up um, I showcase these again in one of my favorites videos so I have in them I have dried flowers in this one and I've just put them all um, color coded them and put them all together like each color and then the bottom here is just some leaves or greenery 
here is some more floral pieces so I have again organized them by color and down here I have some bigger ones that are more neutral and then I also have put my foils so my gold leaf my metal leaf my silver these ones are all kind of multicolored and rose gold or um, coppery colors so I still have room to grow in that one and then obviously we have rhinestones so these are all Swarovski I have like my main basic colors the clear um, the opal aurora borealis and some going up that way and um, these ones are also all Swarovski except for these these are glow in the dark ones from glitter mix Canada oops sorry I'm out of frame um, so I have those ones there and then all Swarovski and I when I put my rhinestones in I actually just put all of the same color and um, different sizes in here so for example my aurora borealis i don't have them separated by size i just have them all in the same size and when i need to pour them out i just have my little dishes over here that i just pour them out into and then i can easily find the size that i need and here i have some more embellishments these are items that i don't generally use um, you know 3d things bigger rhinestones down here um, these are more like crystal pixie type of items and I've still got more these are like little metal um, items little metal em embellishments some rose gold bigger ones smaller ones and more rhinestones <laughs> so these are not Swarovski um, these are just ones that I prefer to use for videos and stuff so I don't waste my Swarovski crystals and then I have some caviar beads um, and pearls and I've got one more container and this is really a container that I don't ever use there's really nothing in here maybe the Fimo I've used um, but these are things that I may have used back in the day when nail art was a lot more crazy, um, but I have not probably used a lot of these items, but I'm not going to part with them because as we know, trends come back. So I've got all of those and I will just stack those babies. Actually, maybe I'll leave that one here and there and all the rhinestones can go here and then my foils and my flowers and in this front one are all of my flakes so I have tons and tons of like iridescent flakes like this from Born Pretty I don't know if it'll focus there we go beautiful flakes I have chameleon flakes I have more like mylar pieces like this one here this is more of a mylar rose gold so that's what's all in here all flakies I do have this little bit of gold leaf from glitter mix Canada just kind of tucked in the side um, because I haven't put it in that other container yet but I have to do that so I'm just going to shove that out of the way so I can access the other ones so this container that you saw me pull out was these I have these little um, dishes that hold rhinestones they're easy to put back the rhinestones into the container because of the angle I have a little silicone finger it is all full of nail dust and glitter I've never used it honestly I try well I shouldn't say never I tried using it and I I don't know I just didn't like it I'm I guess I'm just not on the trend yet but um it has a wire in it so you can bend it and I got it off of AliExpress for like $12 and then back here I just have some more little embellishments and I've debated on whether or not I should get a container like this I'm really thinking I want to get a container like this for all of these so these are all of those little um, paper embellishments so that's what I need to do next is purchase another <laughs> another container because actually I have one that's cracked that I probably could use so that's what I want to put these guys in I have butterflies oh my gosh I have all kinds of stuff most of them if yeah I think most of them are from Glitter Mix Canada I might have a couple from eBay or AliExpress but the majority of those are from Glitter Mix Canada and then here I have some magnets for my cat eye gel polishes and I have a black stamping gel from Born Pretty. I had a white one that I've been using forever and it finally is empty. That thing lasted me so long and I really like these you guys. I'm not even going to lie. I still really like them. I have to do a review video on them for you guys. I have like every color. Actually, I'm waiting for the neon ones now. So I thought, well, I'll just wait till I get those and then I'll do a whole video for you guys. 
And these are little silicone molds to make like snowflakes. There's glitter all over them. Um, of course, there's glitter all over everything in my house, <laughs> which I don't mind. But these are just little silicone molds. I really, I don't use them. Again, like this one's hearts. They're super cute, but I do have quite a few of them. And this little um, stash back here, well, there's some little um, beads for mixing in your bottles. But besides that, they're items that clients have pretty much like brought me. So, you know, somebody gave me those or, oh, there's a few more little paper things that I couldn't fit in the other section, I guess. But there's some rhinestones and just things that clients have brought me over the years that I kind of only use on them because they're their items. So I just have that in there, random. And then these are all, um, these here are chromes. So these are actually pigments. They're supposed to go over there, but they just don't fit. So this co um, container here is full of all of my chromes. So I've got Coco and Claire, Kiara Sky, Joann's, Medusa. Um, these ones are Glitter Mix Canada. I have some from like eBay. I don't even know where. I have Social Claws ones. Um, so these are just all of my chromes and then these two drawers are my pigments or containers I should say. So these are all various pigments. I just recently got these ones from Glitter Mix Canada and I love them. I will say over the years I have had pigments um, from another company that I used to use their acrylic line. They no longer exist um, and I really kind of struggled with a lot of their pigments and I honestly just thought it was me until I recently tried these ones from Glitter Mix Canada and they are amazing. So I've been struggling all these years for no reason. I really just needed to get new pigments and better pigments. So I've recently used the neon ones from Glitter Mix Canada. Obsessed. They are so easy to work with. So I'm just needing to put them in here so that they all fit in there. And um, that is about it for that drawer. It's more of a fun, exciting drawer. All right, guys, so the next drawer is full of all of my glam and glitz acrylics. So one thing I also want to mention to you guys, when you are storing things in your drawers, um, your Alex drawers, especially these big ones, if you find that there's too much space, I actually just ended up buying some foam board from the dollar store and I have just cut pieces so that they fit in the side and it prevents things from sliding around. And in the back, I actually have a bunch of them that are stacked. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I have them. Let me just pull this out here. I have them stacked and taped together. There's like three of them. And I've put those here. I can pull that out more for you guys so you can see I just have them taped and stacked because that way it prevents things from sliding to the back of the drawer or moving around too much. I hope I have these in the right order now. There we go. And let me shove this one back in there. So that's a little tip for you guys. I mean, it's cheap as chips, these, this foam board. I think it's like $2 for a massive sheet. Um, so that's how I keep everything from sliding around. And again, if you have containers in your drawers that you don't want to move, obviously these ones I need to be able to move them because I have to access the ones in the back. Um, if you don't want them to move though, you can use sticky tack and stick them down. I will show you in a couple of my other drawers, that's what I have done. So I don't really do a lot of um, colored acrylics anymore. I will do colored acrylics anytime I'm doing like an ombre, like a fade, because I just find acrylic fades it's so much easier to do with acrylic. So I still do use these, but I don't reach for them quite as much. I've been doing so much more gel polish top designs, but I have all my Madame Glam, or excuse me, all of my Glam and Glitz in here. And then these drawers are full of custom glitters. And also, uh, so again, I have the foam board here and the stacked ones at the back. And then I have a few of these, a couple of these skinnier trays with some more glam and glitz, just extras that I have in the back. And I, again, I haven't been really reaching for them, but these are custom ones that I have mixed. These are just extra jars. They just kind of go in the back here. Um, 
and I have extra jars flipped upside down so that nothing moves around. There's not a lot of space. And um, like I said, I have a piece of foam board here. So usually they all have little swatches on top, but you know, over time, sometimes the little swatches just kind of fall off. But these are custom colors that I have basically made when a client's like, do you have a, um, like for example, I don't know where this one belongs, but it's a little swatch and they're like, oh, do you have a purple that's kind of grayish, but kind of nudish, but kind of purple? <laughs> So I just took nude gray and purple and made a little so a little jar of it for them somewhere. I'm just gonna throw that in the bottom here um, because I'll eventually just find the jar that it needs to go on and glue it back on. But this drawer has purples and pinks, as you can see. The next drawer has reds, oranges, yellows, greens, teals, and blues. And the bottom drawer, has all of my golds, silvers, nudes, tans, blacks, um, iridescent, and then like multi mixes. So I have so much <laughs> colored glitter, uh, colored acrylics, glitter mixes. You guys, my clients, if any client ever came in here and said, oh, I just don't think you have what I want. I would have to say girl buy because I have absolutely every color and everything you could want. All right, guys, so now I'm moving into the drawer that's on the left of me, and it is another Alex drawer, but it is the one that has the bottom drawer for file folders, so it's a much taller drawer. So the top one, I have all of my top coats, and I have several other things as well. So in the back, I just have extra items, like I have an extra bit holder, I have a tip cutter, a pair of scissors and I have some more just brand new bits that I have not used yet that's what's in this big container here and I have some um, forms these are just my extra my roll of forms so I just have those and I will say you guys I just purchased these ones off of um, what is it called uh, Canada nail supplies and I purchased them because I had to buy other stuff and I was needing forms um, usually I use the 2m beauty forms but I am actually quite impressed with these I used them on myself last night because yes guys I took off my press-ons I don't know if you noticed um, I took off my press-ons and I decided to do acrylics I haven't done acrylics on myself for so long and I just kind of I don't know why I just felt like doing it so I decided to do um, just a simple set you guys know I always do such plain nails but I did use these forms and they did not budge they were so good they stuck on so well and I've been using them on clients as well um, but it was just kind of nice to try them on myself and just see how snug they are really I'm thoroughly impressed and they were not overly expensive at all so I have have just my extra roll of that and then I just have this random container oh and you guys I forgot I had this um, it's Moody Mare when they sent me some product um, or when I ordered some product I should say they sent me this little um, tip holder and you know or bit holder you know what you guys I'm gonna put this in my giveaway because I hate that it's just sitting in here and I've never used it um, so last year I basically saved up tons of items for you guys um and i think for like six maybe eight months and i ended up doing a huge giveaway and i'm going to do the same thing so i'm just basically going to keep collecting things until i have a big old box of stuff and then i'm going to do another giveaway so i'm going to throw this in there because i'm clearly not using it so i'm just going to put everything back where it was in the back of this drawer here and then I have these my favorite containers and these ones are actually tacked down with sticky tack this one is not this one has all of my top coats and again you guys why I love these containers because they have these little dividers is so that I can separate certain things so you guys know I love the young nail stain resistant it is my favorite top coat so when I have bottles that are pretty much empty I put them in here and when I get like three of them, I will then take those ones and I will tip them over into this one here, which is the jar um, or the bottle that I use for anything that has a lot of glitter because I don't want to contaminate my uh, main bottle. So that's what I have here is the ones that are pretty much empty. And then this section just has all different kinds of top coats. So I have 
um, this one here from Wildflowers that I, you know, bought because people recommended it. I don't love it. Um, I still love my stain resistant, but I have it um, and I use it sometimes for certain things. And then I have various foil glues or foil gels. I have a Joanne Super Bond, Supreme Bond, Supreme Bond. Sorry, I feel like I just had a mini stroke there. <laughs> I don't know what this is for, honestly. I have it for some reason. I have a Wildflowers foil gel. I have the Kiara Sky base. This is actually what I use for chroming. I have a bottle of C&D Brisa gel. I've had that forever. It's just like a backup. Um, what is this? Another foil gel. This is um, Ultimate Finish Gel. So this is a Young Nails one. This is a new one to me. I have not used it, but it is what they recommend for chroming. I just haven't used it yet. And oh gosh, this is like so old. I probably should just throw this out. This is what I used to use for Chrome. So I am gonna get rid of that because I don't need that in there anymore. And you guys know, I don't know if you've been watching my YouTube videos, but if you have, then you know that when I do my tutorials, I don't like to waste my good topped coat, like my young nails. So I just purchased this cheap one. I actually went back and looked, it was like a dollar something. Um, and this is what I use to do tutorials. So I'm not wasting my good top coat. It's just a shiny top coat. And then these two little jars here just have, um, I think one is mixed with like a holographic fine glitter because I had a client who wanted a holographic top coat once and I don't know what's in the other one but they're just basically kind of custom little top coats that I have made and then here are my brand new bottles of um the what is it called the 2M Beauty matte top coat they are my favorite so I have unopened brand new bottles here and over here I have the Young Nails a brand new stain resistant and uh Oh, this is the glitter one. Sorry, this is the one with, that I use with glitter. And then I usually have brand new bottles of my protein bond in here as well. So in this one, I have my bits that I would normally reach for. They're not brand new. These are my bits that I'm currently using. In here, I usually have buffers, like I said, that I cut. So I usually have the white block buffers and I cut them in three and then I just stack them in here. And these are just forms. So I have torn them up into, well, this is actually, what came in the kit with the ugly duckling and I haven't tried their forms yet but I have this and then I've torn them off into sections of 10 so if I have a new client who needs a full set I have 10 and then I usually um well I'll take this one for example because I have enough and I have one over here and this will be if I need something like just I need one or two because a client needs a repair I'll I'll take from this section here and obviously when these are gone then I will reach back here and get them off of the roll and these are my main three top coats so I use the Madame Glam one and this one I use for all anything that I'm using her pinks because I've mentioned in another video that the pinks change color and then they kind of do this weird splotching thing and with the young nail stain resistant top coat it just was it was so inconsistent i'm finding it's they're working much better when i use the madam glam top coat so i've been using the madam glam top coat anytime i use a neon pink with madam glam and then i just have whatever current bottle of the matte top coat that i'm using which is the 2m beauty and my regular bottle of stain resistant. And then here I have my um, Glitter Mix Canada Bling It Gel and my gloss gel from Young Nails, which is a thicker builder um, type of gel or a hard gel, I should say, not a builder gel, excuse me, it's a hard gel. So whenever I'm doing any kind of um, nail art that I find is too thick or too raised and I just need a thicker consistency, I will use that. And this is for my dirty implements. So I have my little um, bowl here that I put all of my little dirty bits in. And then here I will put like my cuticle pushers, my dust brushes, my nippers, all of that. And then this is obviously not tacked down because at the end of the day, I take this out of my drawer, take it downstairs with me and I clean everything. So that's what's in the top drawer. The second drawer is my stamping and decals. So I have these two little containers here with some stamping items, my stampers, my scrapers. Um, this was just something that someone gave to me to try and I honestly have not tried them yet, um, but I shoved them in here so I wouldn't forget and get, I've forgotten so it didn't work obviously. <laughs> and these are my um, plate holders, my stamping plate holders. So I have this one here which is double sided and then I have this one, which is just single sided. And I did another video talking about these. I don't remember which video it is, but I will post a, uh, either a link below or I will put a um, snapshot of 
the thumbnail here for you guys to see so you can check that one out. And then these are all my little books of decals. So I just have all of my little decals in here. This one is not quite full, um, but I have them all sort of color coordinated. So the pink one and the blue one are for all of my florals and butterflies and then my gray one here this one is all for sort of those minx things um like i've got you see these these are all like those minx nail coverings i also have some crushed shell or seashell i forget what it's called shell paper i think um and just kind of other weird papers like these ones that i found in my other drawer i have some like um, I don't know what you call this tinsel paper, some leaves, some other like cool decals that I forgot about and never used. So this is sort of the miscellaneous um, book. But as you can see, it still closes quite well and I have a lot of room to grow. And then this one is full of more miscellaneous. So I've got like unicorns and animals and Starbucks and I don't know, marijuana stuff and sports, um, fashion, that kind of stuff. There's all kinds of stuff in here, all kinds. Yeah, so another miscellaneous one. And then the white one is my seasonal. So this one has um, Christmas, tons of Christmas, tons and tons of Christmas, Valentine's Day, um, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, and then we move into Halloween. And there's room to grow in there as well. I love these deco books. They have really, I have to say, they have um, really helped me to stay organized. And I'm way, it's way easier for me to find what I'm looking for. Um, I really, really like them. I just have to stack them kind of sideways in here because otherwise they don't quite fit. Oh, wait, no, how did I have them now? I can't remember. I think like that. Yeah. All right, so that is the second drawer. All right, so the third drawer, which I am contemplating if I wanna switch everything that's in here into this one and then put this one in that one. I'm not sure if I wanna do that yet, but I'm thinking about it. So in here, I just have all of the um, boxes of the implements that I use with every client. So I do six clients a day. So I have six of these boxes. Now, if in the event I'm going to do more clients, like say I'm going on a holiday and I'm working, you know, a longer day and I do eight clients, this box here just has extra clean implements that I can pull out and have on the ready. Um, but on the average, I do six. So each of these boxes just has um, a little dust brush, a nipper, a pusher, a cuticle bit, and a a removal bit so I have those all cleaned and ready to go and then here as you can see which I have to tack these ones down but I haven't done so yet because I don't know if I'm switching the drawer or not um, but once I switch the drawer I will use some sticky tack and tack these ones down as well so I can you can see I just have a little eyedropper um, I don't even know why I have this thing in here this is like do you guys remember these old school? My mom used to use it to cut her cuticles. Oh my gosh, I don't even know why I have this in here, but it's in there. Um, I have this cuticle pusher here. This is actually one that I use as more of like a scoop to scoop out um, acrylics and things like that. And then I just have a couple of dappen dishes. This one is actually one that I use when I'm doing my hand painting if I ever use acrylic paints, which I really don't use those anymore. But if I do, this is the one that I use to put the water in. And I don't know where I got this one. I think I probably bought it just because it's so damn cute. I have two of them. One is on the other side of my desk. And then these bowls are what I use for when I do soaking off. I have pliers in here just in case. You never know when you need some pliers. If your gel polish bottle is stuck or <laughs> something like that. And then I have my pestle um, for my mortar and my pestle. And again, back here, I just have some random items. Like I have some little toe separators, which I don't even know why I have them. I think I keep them or kept them for like when I did my clients, little girls um, toes and stuff. Honestly, that's the only thing I think I've used them for. Um, or when I did my own toes back in the day and I have like a random bottle of clear nail polish. <laughs> just random items that I don't really use. That is all that's in this drawer. Now the bottom drawer is not a pretty drawer. It is going to be kind of dirty. I have not cleaned it out. Um, but, you know, I wanted to, like, give you a real tour of 
my room. I didn't want to like be fake and present it in a way like my room is just immaculate and perfect every single day because I feel like that's not real. <laughs> so what I'm saying about the dirtiness is the bottom of this drawer needs to be wiped out very, very badly. <laughs> so ignore that. But this is real life, people. So in here, um, why I said it's a good idea to have one of the Alex drawers that has the file folder section is because it's really tall. So you can put your gallon items in here. So normally I also have a gallon of acetone, um, but I'm just currently out of it. I have to go today and get some. I have my Young Nails swipe bottle, my Young Nails big monomer. I have my smaller bottle that I put the monomer in so that I can squeeze it out easily. I have my lint roller that I use for stamping, which actually could probably go up here maybe will it fit I don't know look at that it fits perfect in the drawer it should be in hallelujah um, and then I just have still this random bottle of acrylic or jar this is the company that I used to use that I absolutely loved their acrylic honestly it was the best acrylic I have ever used but they no longer are in production they just shut down the company so um, this is my little bit that I have left of that I have a bottle of water you guys this bottle is very sentimental to me because this is the same bottle I have been using for 13 years um, when I used to do oh I got a piece of gold flake on my nail um, when I used to do mostly hand painting I used always acrylic paints and this bottle was the bottle of water that I kept in my room to do the acrylic painting with and I still use it for when I'm doing water decals or things like that but this bottle is 13 years old and I swear to you I will never get rid of it because it's very sentimental I know that sounds crazy but it's been with me since day one and then I have some extra wipes and this is actually one of those bottles that I keep um with the what do you call it I don't know, whatever you call it, the dispenser on the top here, the ones that I have in my Lazy Susan, I dropped it and snapped off this part here. So I have to either see if I can just get a replacement lid or toss it and buy a new one. And clearly there's some old decals and stuff in the bottom of here that need to be cleaned out, but I have not cleaned this drawer out. So judge me, don't judge me. It doesn't really matter. This is real life. So that's that one. All right guys, so we are getting now into the right side of my desk and this will be the last drawer that I have to show you guys. So in the top, again, it's not a very exciting drawer. <laughs> so this is where I keep my gloves. So gloves have been a very tough thing to find um, since COVID. I now am paying $20 more a box. I used to pay $8 a box. Um, for my nitrile gloves at a local medical supply place and they were the best gloves I've ever used never had any issues and I would always use a medium on my left hand and a large on my right hand because the large I felt just gave me a little less tension with my carpal tunnel but now I've been through so many different gloves that each time it's different um, because they tend to not have the same brand every time I go now um, so these ones I actually can use the medium on both hands which I'm grateful that I they only had medium so I bought only medium that time um, because they actually fit well on both my hands and I don't feel the tension like I used to feel with the other ones so anyways just a little tip for you guys if you are struggling with your gloves and you have carpal tunnel and you're finding that the pain and the strain is still really um, a lot of tension try upping your size of your glove and that might help so I've got gloves normally I have a box of Kleenex right here but I just finished it so I took it out and then in the back I just have some files and stuff these are files that I use for doing tutorials so they're just old files that are you know used over and over my buffers things like that I have some vet tape here I use the vet tape to wrap my drill um, my e-file handpiece or my drill handpiece I again I've said this before it doesn't matter to me if you call it a drill or an e-file um, so I have that and then I have another container back here this has just some like electrical tape and random stuff and some um, sanding bands so I, again I don't use those but I've kept them so I have those and then I just have some scissors on the side here to cut my vet tape and I usually cut out a bunch of pieces these are the ones that I use to cover and um, to cover my finger so that I don't file my finger 
So the second drawer has more like a, it's more of a personal drawer, I guess you would say. Um, it has like all my pens and things like that. My hole punch because I have um, loyalty cards here. There's business cards. There are referral cards. I have nail glue here. Um, gum, as you can see. These are my palettes that I have for doing nail art. Um, again, I feel like they probably shouldn't be in this drawer in particular, <laughs> but they've always been in this drawer, so I just have never taken them out. Um, and then I have this little um, phone holder, which is very convenient for doing you know, like Instagram stories and things like that. So if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend them. You can get them now too, where they expand upwards. I think Talia has one like that. And just like my little remote, my TV remote, my light remote, I have all kinds of little things and some change in, in case clients need change, which I just keep in their rolls so that when they're full, I can take them to the bank. And that's pretty much it. I have some other more personal stuff in the back here. I have some sticky tack because I like to have that. And again, speaking of sticky tack, these ones are tacked down in the drawer so they don't slide around. So that is that. And then this drawer used to be full of my acrylic paints, but I have recently changed that. So this one has some random things. I do need to tack this one down, but I just recently put all of this stuff in the drawer, so I didn't want to tack anything down until I know that I absolutely love the way that it is. So I'm still kind of playing around here and there with things, so that's why I haven't tacked anything down yet. But I have some of these, which, do you remember when we used to do water marbling? That's why I have these because they are to go around the finger to protect the fingers. So when you dipped, you know, into the water marbling and or doing anything else that you would just peel this off and you wouldn't have to worry, but I don't really use them, but I still have them because again, you never, never know you guys when you're going to need something. And then here in this container, I have what I call the devil's nail art. So this is striping tape that comes on the wheel. I hate this stuff. I really don't use it anymore because I have a bunch of these ones which are more on like the decal side and they're just on paper so they're way easier to use. I just honestly this is just I want to throw it out but I just can't bring myself to throw it out yet. And um, there's that little other dappen dish. I actually usually have it just sitting there and basically this is the um, sample of the ugly duckling well this isn't the sample this is a little bit of a larger one that I purchased so that I can keep trying the ugly duckling um, acrylic so that's the monomer and I just when I'm using it I will um, just pour it into this little dappen dish because on top of my clear acrylic container that I hold all my brushes I have this container of monomer and this is my young nails monomer and this is the one that I use every day so I just use this little dappa dish when I'm wanting to sample the young nails or try the young nails. And then this is actually for bubble nails. So you guys know the lizard kind of dragon scale nail art that we do with the bubbles. So a trick that I heard, and I think it was Christy Meekin who showed it, she actually puts it in a bottle and then when you're ready and you want to use bubbles, right, it's just dish soap and water, you just shake it up and then your bubbles are ready. You pop the top. Yep and you just squeeze out some bubbles. So I have that ready on hand and I don't have to like go get a bowl and water and bubble or dish soap and mix up the bubbles. It's super easy and ready to go. So I have that. I have my little eyedropper for my um, Ugly Duckling sample here. And then this is alcohol blending solution. I don't know where I bought this <laughs> or I don't remember but I don't even think I've used it but I have it anyways it's here and I just have it sitting in this little container here with all of my little sponges so that's that container and in this container which is not still like perfectly organized I still feel like I need to figure out a way to organize this stuff better um, I'm debating on getting something like Talia has which is a book um, for larger decals and stuff like this but I have all my striping tape I have like chevron type of tape like these ones um, more striping tape more chevron I have these like holographic flames um, mylar paper butterfly holographic thingamabobs I don't even know more mylar paper these ones are stars stencils like just so much stuff in here and I just feel like it's 
it's easy for me to find what I need because I know what's in here, but I feel like it would be easier to show people and it would just look nicer if it was in like a proper book. So I might consider finding a book like Talia's using. And this was from Glitter Mix Canada. It's a cool little thing just for um, when you're sprinkling glitter to do like a sugar nail or caviar beads or something like that or crystal pixies. It just collects the glitter and then you can just pour it back. I haven't used it because I forget about it. Um, but I do have it and things are so dusty. This is just the nail tech life. And then here I have some foils from Glitter Mix Canada. So I've got the, um, what were these called? I think designer foils and these are Halloween foils. So I've got those and I love these little containers. And then these are actually what I thought was foils. I was on the hunt for the iridescent kind of style, but I wanted them in a foil, a transfer foil. And it said on the page where I found these that they were transfer foils and they lied to me, sis. They lied to me. These are just Mylar paper. So I have a ton of freaking Mylar paper. <laughs> And then in the back, which I will have to move these in order to access them, these are all my transfer foils. And these containers are from the Dollarama. So I have this one here. Let me see, I'll move that out of the way. That one has like, more like my golds, multicolor, silver, that kind of thing, black and white. This one is all patterns. So there's all different florals and animals, snake prints and lace and that kind of thingy. And then this one is the colored one. So I've got blues, greens, purples, pinks, reds, all of those. And they fit perfectly in this drawer. I absolutely love how they fit right in the back. And I keep the gold and silver kind of one on the top because those are the ones that I tend to reach for the most because everybody loves rose gold foil or gold foil. So that is that drawer. And the next two drawers are glitter and they are not perfect <laughs> because, well, I shouldn't say they aren't perfect. I mean, they're as good as they're gonna get right now because I need to reorganize my glitters because I have so many new ones that I still have not even put in these containers. I have tons from Glitter Mix Canada. Um, I have a whole box full of them that I essentially want to put all into these containers. My concern also is that, so for example, in this drawer, I only have room for one more container. As you can see, I can slide that one back and then I would have room for one more here. And I do not think that they fit this way. Otherwise I would be able to put a couple, but they don't fit that way. So up in the top drawer here, or the fourth drawer, is all of the colors. So I've got like reds, greens, you know, basically every color of glitter. And then, and these containers, by the way, are from Michaels. And for a while, they told me at Michaels when I would go there that they were discontinued, but they are not. They are back in stock. I seen them there a couple weekends ago. Um, I love these containers for glitter because they, they just really, like this one's kind of wrecked um, because I got acetone on the container inside. So maybe I'll show you this one, but they get all scratched up. But when you open them, right, it's just so nice. Like my clients are always in awe when they're like, hey, do you have any purple? And I pull out like all three of my purple containers. They're like, oh my gosh, you have so much glitter. So it just looks nice. It's great for display and to show all of your colors. So that is the color drawer. And the bottom one, I'm just going to get a little closer and zoom in for you guys. Um, is the, I've got golds, silvers, whites, black, iridescent, and then I also have multicolor in here. So these are a lot of like mixes, again, that I have not organized, I have not put proper. They're just new ones that I've got, or they're multicolored ones that I have um, just to put away. And then I just have a random box of tips, which honestly does not belong in here, but I think I put it there just to prevent these ones from sliding back again these are more glitter that I need to organize and I just have not you guys I keep saying I'm oh, going to do this glitter organization and I just cannot bring myself to do it because it's going to be a big job I swear if somebody wants to come help me organize my glitter please message me come on let's do a glitter day I will provide you with um, beverage and food and entertainment. So DM me on Instagram if you want to come help me organize my glitter <laughs> or comment below. 
All right, guys, so that is it for my little tour today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you found some of the things that I showed you um, informative or that you are able to maybe utilize them in your salon. I feel like as nail techs, because we're constantly buying new things and new nail art or products, uh, we are always having to reorganize. So I have organized this nail studio since my last video. I've probably reorganized it a hundred times. I don't even know. <laughs> but the way that I have it now, I really like it. There are a few things that I feel like I may need to tweak or I'm thinking of tweaking here and there. But all in all, I'm really happy with the setup. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, you guys. If you did, please share it with someone else. And as always, have an amazing day.